Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Finally, somebody understands that, that this is a very dangerous person. An emotional day as victims of a local serial rapist fought to keep him from being released. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Alvin Corals terrorized San Diego in the 80s as the bolder than most rapist. Our tenders reporter Rena Nakano was at today's hearing. Rena. Hey, Kim and Steve. Yeah, uh, Alvin Quarles was uh, originally sentenced to 50 years in prison, uh, but he went to a mental institution 25 years after that. And for the last several years, the victims have had to go through this tumultuous journey of is he going to stay at the hospital or is he going to be released? But today here inside this courtroom, many of those victims told me that they feel validated. I didn't think I would cry. An emotional day for Alvin Quarles victims after an appeals court hearing in downtown. Police say Quarles sexually assaulted dozens of women in the 80s. In 89, he was sentenced to 50 years in prison. But for the last seven years, Quarles has been fighting to be released from Colinga State Hospital. I was assaulted again when they lied to us and said 50 years when, the, when Quarles knew it was 25. And we were assaulted when they were going to release him unconditionally until we raised a fuss back in 2013 and and then this whole thing with Judge Gill and last June Judge David Gill allowed for a conditional release possibly to East County but in September the deputy DA filed a writ which halted all proceedings Mr. Crawls was quote not ready to be released at Thursday's oral arguments, the DA argued the conditional release decision was made prematurely, stating that Quarles still poses a danger and is likely to offend. The safety of San Diegans is placed above where Mr. Quarles wants to lay his head. Quarles' team argued that although he is still a sexually violent predator, he can continue his treatment out in public. He could receive treatment through CONREP. CONREP has all the security measures in place to ensure that he received treatment and that the community is safe. But the turning point of the hearing was when Judge Richard Huffman seemed to side with the deputy DA. Speaking only for myself, one of the most horrendous sex offense records that I've seen. Finally, somebody understands that, that this is a very dangerous person. And the decision for this appeal won't be coming out for at least a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. And until that time, Quarles will remain inside Colinga State Hospital. Reporting live in downtown tonight, I'm Rena Nakano. I'll send it back to you. Well, thank you, Rena.